welcome back to my new uh, root tutorial. In this video I will explain how to export the plots that you made uh, in different formats uh, just depending on your requirement. Um, <coughs> first, like usual, we make a copy of the previous file that we created and um, we call it 213 in this case. Um, the function we also have to uh, change and additionally we want to um, uh, set also some access titles um, to see the results a little bit clearer. Set title uh, for example test and that's the same we do for the y-axis now test and um, we can just then test how it looks like when we run it and I hope it looks exactly how we also expected. So the font size and everything you can change uh, exactly how I explained it already before. And then you could, for example, press here on file, uh, save as, and then you can choose here different uh, formats. However, I prefer to have this directly in the code. So after drawing the histogram, we, uh, after drawing the plot, we can write func and the command is uh, print, uh, not save or anything like this, but really print. And the first format which we will try is uh, the PNG format. So we just call it func.png. Uh, and um, now we uh, run it. Um, and okay, sorry, um, not uh, func print, but uh, C1 print because we are not um, exporting the function, we export the uh, canvas. So now we can start it again. And uh, yeah, now it's written here, uh, T canvas print file func PNG has been created. And with the GNOME viewer, for example, when you use Ubuntu, you can uh, check it and yeah, you have now the PNG. Um, this is already suitable in some cases. Uh, the unfortunately, the problem is you cannot um, edit it. It has a fixed resolution. And maybe when you increase or decrease the size, it might look ugly. So another possibility is uh, that you export it directly as a PDF. So when you write func.pdf, root is automatically uh, creating the format according to the ending which you choose. And we now run it. Um, then again, it says that uh, func PDF has been created. And now we use the a GNOME internal viewer for uh, checking the PDF file. And you can see here, we can edit or we can, sorry, we can mark the text. So it means it is also edible. And uh, to sh prove that this is really the case, we can open it in uh, Inkscape. Um, we just use the standard configuration. And here you see uh, the plot with um, all the different uh, points that you can mark. You can here, um, mark uh, the or you can even you could even if you want change the text you can uh, rotate it you can uh, change the position and so on you can change the position of the graph um, sometimes the results are not so much good but uh, at least it's possible to um, to change something later okay um, one other possibility which I normally use um, and uh, which works quite well is uh, directly exporting it in LaTeX format. This has the advantage when you insert it in your um, in your paper or in your thesis, um, it automatically adopts the font size, uh, sorry, the font type from this thesis. So it looks at the end very beautiful. You don't have a mixture of different fonts. Um, so this is from my point of view, the easiest way how to do it. So now we call it uh, func uh, tech and uh, we run 213.c again. And here you see uh, funk tech has been created and we can take a look at this, how it looks like. Um, yeah, it contains a lot of information. Basically, it, the numbers are just hard coded from the histogram that we, from the plot that we created. Um, as you see, um, it uses a, t a tix package. Um, so either you directly insert it into your uh, LaTeX file that you have created already, or you create a standalone. Uh, plot file and this we will do now so um, we have to define the document class uh, as uh, standalone 
and we have to insert the package uh, tikz um, and we have to uh, begin the document of course and at the end of this file then we have to write and document and if you now uh, use pdf latex with func.tech um, and you have installed all the packages uh, like uh, tix package then um, you should immediately see the result so it compiled successful and now we can um, see what comes out from this and you see here um, the font size and uh, the font style is somehow matching the the font size can be uh, changed by changing the size of the canvas basically so um, uh, this this I have not shown before and I can do it now so if we give the uh, parameters for the constructor first the name c1 then the title which is for example also c1 and then we make the plot a little bit smaller only 400 times 400 also quadratic and now we um, run the root script again it looks like this and we see here um, it's not fitting on the left side exactly so what we can also do is um, um, changing the margin a little bit so we write c1 set left margin um, 0 0.1 would be the standard configuration so we choose 0 0.15 and then we can see now it's fitting perfectly and now we um, have to edit this func.tech again in the same way how we have done it before uh, document class standalone use package uh, ticks and uh, begin document and uh, under at the end we write again uh, end document now we run it again and we take a look how it looks like and now you can see it's fitting much better now it would be maybe possible directly to insert it into your publication um, okay yeah these are the formats which I'm normally using ah, so yeah, if you um, don't have uh, ticks installed in Ubuntu you can just use sudo up install uh, tech life full when you do this it installs all latex packages that you need in order to compile this uh, in this case uh, I have already um, installed it but um, maybe you don't have it so far so maybe it's one possibility to um, install all required packages okay I hope you enjoyed this video again thank you very much for your attention please stay tuned and see you next time